So I just rewrapped this horn. I actually left the old wrap on there this lat ago because I think this needed to be a little bit bigger, a little girthier, I guess. But when you wrap these, you want to make sure you have this clear down here and it kind of almost folds out because you don't want to rope something and every once in a while you'll your uh, rope will get swedged underneath this if you just have it flush with your swell or your fork instead of kind of almost folded out so it'll just your rope will just rest right there and I did the hitching post supply trick with I put my saddle strings underneath this and then put the tail in them pinched them and, and pulled my tail through and then what I do is I take the tail and to keep it out of the way I put a slit here and then I'll put my concho back on over that to kind of keep this held up out of the way I'll show you what it looks like when it's done so here it is all done I cut the tail off right here so it's not flopping around in the way and I cut the old tail off and tucked it under there uh, one thing if you're going to use these a latigo for horn wrap you want to use a sharp knife and bevel the edges here and here it'll help it wrap up and, and stack up nicer and you just I might have to do a video on how to do it. it just takes a sharp knife and you can hold it and use your finger as a guide and then when I wrap it I have you know it comes out this way and goes under to start and I like it to come out here because it kind of protects this leather right here when you're holding something out in front of you your rope won't rub on it you can see it has quite a bit here but it'll protect you know obviously that spot so there you go that's how I do that